Mary Naraj is on location to tell us about the Hungry Heart Worker Fund. Let's see what she found out. This is Marin Rogers, and today we are here at Downtown Delhi, right in the heart of Bluffton, 1223 May River Road, and just wanted to share a little bit about what the Downtown Delhi family has been doing to continue business and also be there for our community. So for starters, you can see that there's a little bustling of activity behind me. We have to-go orders if I turn to my side here. So we have orders that have been put in online via Chow Now. So you can pay online, come and pick it up when you'd like. The entire menu is available. You can also order for somebody else. So if there's somebody in need that you want to order for, we can deliver right to them. There is some times on there that you can issue, we can issue, we can help you out. The biggest thing right now is that the restaurant is in operation and we are there for our community, our customers, and being in operation for many years, we want to make sure that we continue to, to fulfill and take care of our customers. So that is one example of what we are continuing to do. It is to-go orders, delivery orders, and also curbside pickup. So you can call, you can text and say, hey, I'm here, we'll run it out to your car. We do wear gloves, we're practicing lots of safe practices with sanitation here at the downtown deli. And then also we have a large supper club business. So supper club is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We have just added where you order online, pay online. There are three meals that you can choose from. There are two dinner meals, and then there's also what we call a protein box. So chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad, and they come with a variety of accoutrements. And you could make your selections. They are meals for two that are par cooked. We give you the directions on how to reheat and serve. And dear me, if we could just take a quick look at the deli case over here, where we've got meals that are ready to go, and those meals will be picked up and delivered today on Monday. So we can help you by serving you a tremendous meal that tastes great, that's healthy. We can help you during all of this. If you're used to eating out, if you're not a great cook, we are here to help. And also too, we would like to keep our employees in business too as well. So that is very important um, right now because there are so many restaurants in our area that have been closed, that have modified their hours. We are still open Monday through Saturday for pickup and delivery from 10 to 2.30. However, if you have a situation and you need something delivered at three or four or five, please let us know. And then lastly, I'd like to say, if you have a business, if you're a business owner, if you'd like to give to a business, if you'd like to sponsor lunches or a dinner for a healthcare worker, for an ER, for, I was on the phone this morning with one of our hospitals and for their clinics, for their clinic teams, um, we are here to help you with that. So give me a call, text me, email me. I would love to hear from each and every one of you on how we can work together to get through this and survive the coronavirus. Next up, I'm going to invite our business owner from Downtown Deli and Downtown Catering, Leah McCarthy. She is going to share more about what we are doing at this point to help our community with Hungry Heart. Hi, my name is Leah McCarthy. I'm the owner here of Downtown Deli and the Downtown Catering Company here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Want to tell you a little bit about our Hungry Heart Restaurant Worker Relief Fund that we created in conjunction with Low Country Strong Foundation. This fund is going to be a two-part project one, where we're putting money back into our local restaurants, and two, we are being able to give back a free meal to any restaurant worker who has been affected through the COVID-19 crisis. So what we're gonna release every single day is a calendar of which restaurant is gonna provide that free meal. So for instance, this evening in Bluffton, New York City Pizza is giving free dinner to any restaurant worker in need. All that worker has to do is go in and mention Hungry Heart or Low Country Strong and they will get that meal for free. And then in return, our foundation will pay the restaurant for that meal, reimbursing them. So it's a good cash flow for our restaurants and it's a way of giving 
uh, to our workers that are in need. Any of the service industry workers, um, we want to make sure that we take care of you since you take care of us. So this is how you donate. You go to lowcountrystrong.com, click the donate button, and just know that for every $8 that you donate, you are giving one meal for free to our restaurants. And this is how you find out who is participating. On our Instagram page and on our Facebook page, if you follow Downtown Catering Company, we will have that daily schedule. So certain restaurants are already committed to us, but if you're a restaurant who wants to help, please reach out to us. We want to provide as many meals as possible across our low country here in Hilton Head and Bluffton. So a special thanks already to Cowboy Brazilian Steakhouse, who's given meals today to a local church. Um, we have Lucky Rooster on Hilton Head. Their marketplace is participating. The Cottage here in Bluffton, Juice Hive. We also have Tumor's Seafood Restaurant. We have Java Burrito on Hilton Head. And again, this evening, we have New York City Pizza in Bluffton and right here at Downtown Deli for lunch. So check back every single day. We're going to post. We're going to let you know where you can go and get that meal. And again, restaurant tours, chefs, if you want to help us, we need you. So just let us know. And for anyone in the public that doesn't know what to do right now, this is a great way to give back. For as little as $8, you could provide a meal for free for one of our service industry workers. Again, just go to lowcountrystrong.com and donate. Thank you so much for giving back to our community, for giving back to our restaurants. Don't forget any of the curbside and to-go restaurants that are still in business right now. Those service industry workers rely heavily on your tips. So every little bit goes a long way for them. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining me today on WHHI during this very important time of need. And let's continue to support one another, support our restaurant industry, support our healthcare workers, and take care of one another. And remember to try to stay home as best you can, separate from one another, and be there as we continue to monitor the situation and move through it. So thank you so much for joining me today.